what are we going to see today? Uh, it's a very simple component that basically, even I can't say it's a component, it's a part of a component. Okay, That basically allow you to choose the column in the table. Like for example, like, you know, this is what we are going to see today. Like, you know, this has called a basically like, you know, you can hide a column or you can display the column. Like, you know, or you can bring back to default. If for example, like, you know, description, I'm taking a description, the description is gone. I can take a status code, the status code is gone. Okay, now I can bring it back, the description. Same way, I can also move the order. Okay, now the, the, that uh, description probably came the second. Okay, this is what we are going to see how we can implement. It is nothing great, but uh, like, you know, uh, we can see what we can do by that. Okay, let's get into the coding. I have created a, a project or a, like you know your flow where basically there is a uh, search page is there anyway we are not worried about that and there's just a table nothing more than that okay, if you are looking at that how it works uh, probably this already ran okay this that's all that nothing more is here okay uh, this can be adjusted later to come within that like no scope of the container uh, but as of now we are only worried about that like you know column choice well okay for that, we need a two variables. One is for basically in that including the uh, object, the excluding the column. Okay, now we create a two variable include columns that is array. And exclude columns that is also array create that okay now we have a okay exclude columns array and include columns array okay here what happened you can have all the attribute which has to be included by default and here also you can have attribute which is has to be there like by default the column which has to be excluded from the table now let's go to that uh, uh, page designer. Now I'm going to the column table. I'm going to that, uh, like, you know, okay. I'm taking this one. Okay. Now go to the variable. This is included column. I'm putting this information as a default value. So basically, all this column, which is there in the table added. Okay, you can like you can have a two few column more columns, or you can take some column and put it in exclude by default. But here we don't have anything in the excluded part by default. Okay, now we got that. Now we go back to the base designer. Okay, if you going there, we have to have one more container here that is called OJSP collection container. Okay, let me copy and paste. Sometimes it doesn't come for me, I don't know, like, you know. So, this is what this is, okay, OJSP collection container. Okay, let me have that here below the division. Let me have that. Okay. Now here, let me have a class. Sorry, class is what a flex item and flex initial. That is what we are having as a class. Okay, have a class here. Then I can go to all. I can say active columns. Like for example, you can look at the active column. If you are going for active column, you can say include this one. Okay, now I have a include columns here. Okay, now let's see whether it's included. No, it may not be included. I'm going basically like switching step by step here. So you know what is exactly like the work is doing here. Okay, it is not there, okay. Now what we have to do here is, 
there is something called display there is something called display option go to the display option column status you turn it on okay now you go and see that okay this is appearing now if you are looking here you don't see any thing the the command appeared but you don't see any column the reason is if you are going and looking at the variable okay they they don't have id here like you know you have to put a kind of a like you know a unique id for that like you can put anything one or you can put you can have a column name okay i am putting a 1 2 3 4 5 you can have any unique names so basically that helps them to identify each column okay to three and four i believe that's we have only four column okay now let me run it again Okay, the object appearing here. See, you have the column name here. So if I'm excluding that, it gets into the exclusion part. Like, you know, okay, that is how you can exclude and include. Okay, now, but this is not going to affect anything here. The reason is there is no any relation between us of now, there's no relation between this one and this one. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to replace these columns, whatever which is in that by a variable. For example, like we have to go to that uh, base designer. Okay, we are going to that column. Okay, we are going to that. Okay, here is over here. We are removing this part. Include column. That is what it is. Okay. Now we run it. Okay, now basically they are they are basically like you know referring to the same variable. So for example, description is gone. Like the plan name is gone. Like and if you say I don't have plan name here, now you can say that this is the default. It comes to the default way. This is how you can work on this component. Okay, that's all for this uh, video. If you have any question, you can like you know put it in a comment section next time we'll see how to how do we start that uh, like you know uh, the data okay okay bye